Oh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. God bless now. She's an anonymous. In, in the, what I, I can't pronounce Anonymous. It. No, anonymous. 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 <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> Award-winning award, motivational speaker. Award, I got an award winner. I don't care what y'all are talking about. Yeah, she got a nickname. <laughs> I want you to get her nickname. Because, yo, she's serious, bro. Yo, this is not no play play right here. Yo, all you money, I need y'all to tune in. Because I want to show y'all something that's on the phone. But y'all know, the further through, here comes Mel Baker. Come on, man. Let me get a hug first. Let me get a hug first. Give Chief a hug. You understand what I'm saying? Hey, hey, hey. What's going on? This thing on? Yes, it is. It's on. It's on. Yes, it is. Watch how this works. Yes. How you doing today? My name is Mel E.B. I was blessed with the name the most powerful Mel E.B. Let me tell you something real quick. See, I got called in because I was told there was an emergency. I was told that my voice was needed. I was told that there were some sisters out there that needed to learn about, hear about, be told about, and maybe even confirm that there is truth that needs to be spoken in this space. See, understand that I'm going to come to you correct, but not only am I going to give you something, I'm about to teach you. I'm about to love on you. Since I'm about to pour into you, you may not know, but let me help you. See, we're about to have that teachable moment. I'm about to tell you about yourself. See, my name is Mel E.B. Where I come from, I'll tell you right now that I'm an outlier because there's only three things that I can give you. First thing I want to tell you, sis, is that I know you're a warrior. You might say, what you talking about, Mel? Well, see, I know you're a warrior because I do not like the words victim or survivor. <laughs> we are not that because it is somehow that that word is going to be attacked to some type of event that is trauma-based. I'm not gonna give it power. In fact, I'm gonna tell you right now, like the warrior gets ready to go to battle, he's gonna go in and put on his armor. When I do what I do, you best to believe, I'm gonna make sure that I'm prepared. I don't know, Trent, I don't know if they're ready. I don't know if they're ready. See, I don't know, I'm not feeling yet. No. I'm not seeing no stars. I, I don't know. No. I got hard working women. I got single mothers mm. that got four or five kids with mm. no baby fathers mm. that are taking care of their kids no matter mm. what. I got women that are stripping on the, on the poles. They're not out there fucking. They're mm. just stripping to take care of their families. Mm. They're taking the with lashing and everything from everybody. Mm. I got strong <laughs> sisters in my city. I sat with them, Mel. I talked with mm. them. I cried with them. Mm. So I know, Mel. Even the ones that grow know they grow. Absolutely. <laughs> Well, baby, come here real close. Come here, come on. Let, 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 let me talk to you. Come here, sis, let me tell you a little something. Everything that can happen to a woman has happened to me. The other two things that I do not speak on is incest and drug abuse. I don't know about these things. But what I do know about is being molested by my uncle by the age of seven. What I do know about is being raped by my third cousin. What I do know about is being taken out of my own city where I'm coming from, which is Boston, and being human trafficked to New York City and forced into prostitution at the age of 13. What I do know about is being that woman that everyone said wasn't good enough, would never make it. Somehow nobody understood my pain, but they continued to take from me. They continued to break me down. I don't think you understand what I'm talking about. Sis, I know who you are because not only have I been where you are today, I'm standing here right now before you, letting you know that there is a way. Hold on, this is teachable and I want you to watch this. Not only have I come from that place, I was the teen mom, I was the high school dropout, I was homeless, and I was living in a car with my baby. Watch where this goes now. Not that I was living out of a car. Tap, watch this now. It wasn't out of the car, it was in the car. So you had to roll the windows down, you had to get in, you had to, you had to, you had to, everything was in your car, the deodorants, everything in the I used car. to bathe out of the sink in Dunkin' Donuts. Now let me tell you about this. Even in the midst of all of this, 
What I talk about all the time is that we as women become broken. And when brokenness happens within us, most times it's because somebody dropped the ball. See, because what happens is a lot of us come from places. See, my mother walked out of me when I was 11 years old. My mother didn't have anything to do with me after that point. Then my father couldn't handle it anymore. And it wasn't too long after that he was gone too. So before I knew it, I was in the system. Not only was I in the system and being bounced around foster home to foster home to group home to group home. If you only understood the pain in which I lived in, I stayed in a constant state of anger. Not only was my anger so intense that it was palpable. See, you talked about the sister that stripped. I've been there, sis. At 19 years old, the only way I could make any kind of money, or what I thought at least at the time, was that stripping. See, when I didn't understand my worth and my value, I didn't understand my power. I didn't understand what it was that I was called to do. When I didn't understand why it was that all these things continued to happen to me day after day after day, the men that I continued to pick were broken. And so because they were broken, they couldn't ever take care of me the way I thought I deserved to be taken care of. And because I didn't know how to love myself, <laughs> watch where this is going. Because I didn't know how to love myself, what ended up happening was I continued to keep going into situations that served me no purpose. Woo! Y'all don't understand how teachable it is what I'm giving you right now. I, I love that line. Hold on, Tap. I'm going to tell you right now. Trap, trap. Trap. Oh, I said trap my trap. 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 Shout out to Cliche's Barber Shop, the hottest barber shop in South Side. Look where this comes from. T-R-P-P. Watch where this comes from. When you are so broken, your antenna for choice is skewed to the point that you will continue to pick the same type of man. And before you know it, the words or disrespect become a push, which then become a slap, which then becomes the fallout fight, which then becomes the straight punch or kick, which then becomes we out here tussling like we two niggas in the street. Uh, but then when you get two broken people and you get together and they make a little human being, that baby's in a lie. Because you see, brokenness can only make more brokenness. But let me tell you something, Jack. Let me show you something. We are spiritual beings yes, we are. having human experience. You know what I'm I don't care where you've come from. I was so angry that I would fight and get locked up. And then I got locked and I did four years. And when I did all this, all of this happened before I was even 17. You understand? Living in cars, homelessness, rejection, education falling apart. I got no family. I'm pregnant at 16. I have no one to turn to. I have nowhere to go. If you can only imagine with me. So, sis, I want you to know wherever you are right now, that if you're hearing my voice, it is not by accident. It is by determination, by something that is greater than us. Please believe me. Allow for me to pour into you because I want you to understand something. You are not alone. You are somebody. You are worthy. And I believe with all of my essence and my being that the reason why in this moment you are hearing my voice is so that you will be able to receive confirmation. That you are not alone in this place. See, when you come from a place of abuse, when you've been molested, when you've been raped, when you've been beaten, when you've been let down, when you've been lied to, when you've been robbed, when your own homegirls sell you out because they themselves are broken and can't see their own legs and feet, that they take it from right underneath you. Man, that's the devil. See, I don't sit here and pretend to be something I'm not. See, I come from the hood. I say this all the time. I'm just a regular schmegular girl from the hood, baby. 
And you're a fool if you somehow think that I haven't been homeless and hungry and having, let me tell you some real talk, real talk. When I was pregnant with my oldest daughter, my first, and I had six, okay? I had six children. When I had my first daughter, I would go two and three days with no food because I had no food to eat. Not because I wasn't hungry, because I had no food. I had no family. I had no money. So I was by myself. I had no food. And as you can imagine, being pregnant with no food can be quite a challenge. And then when I would get food, I would vomit it immediately because I don't want to get out food. See, I want you to know, since I see you, because I know what that struggle looks like when you have to figure out, am I going to pay the light bill or am I going to put food on the table? Am I going to get my baby new sneakers or am I going to turn around and figure out how I'm going to pay this bill so that we have food on the table? This is real talk. This is real life. This is that gutter, gutter, gully, gully. I'm from the hood. I am what I am. I who I am, I am. That is it. You got to make decisions. Sir, it's talk about that. got to be made. So at some point, this is why I said what I said. Okay, sis, you're not a survivor. You're not a victim. You are a warrior. Get hungry. Warriors. Get hungry, because if you don't break it, your kids are gonna be broken. And then you're gonna be wondering why your little ones that you love so dearly cannot seem to launch. I want you to understand something. What breaks my heart the most about my neighborhood and my community is when I see these young cats walking around thinking that pulling a trigger for a street that they don't own property on is somehow gonna give them a name. What the fuck is that? Now what the fuck is that? Facts. Now what the fuck is that? Now I'm gonna tell you like this. I got well, I want I want to show you now. Right, 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 I'm sorry. Right, right, right. I, 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 I got some questions. Yes, sir. From her from her point of view that I want. That because I want like, I, like I've spoken to so many women. And there's so many women that I, I sat with today, I sat with in a room full of men and a few women. And yo, I swear to God, we had some of the realest conversations ever, and I wish you were there. But I wrote down some of them. And, I, and, I, and, and the, the, the main thing that really stuck to me, right, is that there's a lot of women that's in my community, in my city, that's been, that have been hurt before, right? And this is what's happening. They're dealing with men like me that's been hurt before. So now, when I'm dealing with her, I don't know that her father, brother, mother, somebody touched her. I don't know that. That trauma, I don't know. I got my own trauma. So when I'm coming in the house and everything she, we're going, we're going, we're fighting and we're going at it. If this ain't just for me, this is for everybody. Sure. I'm just using me. Because I, I don't know. The women I've dealt with, that I've been fighting with, I don't know if they've been touched. I don't know if they had this trauma to them. And the reason why, when you're with your woman, you touch her and she jumps or, or something just triggers her. You know what we're doing? You know what, what I'm doing to help that situation? Fuck you, bitch. That, 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 that's not helping. It's not helping. I just realized that. I'm guilty. I'm a man that stands here for you in front of everybody and tell you that I'm guilty. Because I done sat with women that's been that I couldn't believe that's been, been, been the trauma that they live with every day. So that's the real reason I want you up here to understand what my city is going to. What this what the what the, what the women in my city gotta live with. That they don't wanna say nothing. You know why they don't wanna say nothing though? Because niggas like me, everybody else will dog you. A lot, of people, a lot of people find comfort in their discomfort. You know what I'm saying? But it's deeper than that. Let me show you how deep this gets. You good? Can I? Yes, I calm down. I'm glad I calm down. Is this thing on? Okay. But I just, it is just because I get like that now. 
But did you understand where I come from? Wow, because I sat with people because I, I, I know I can't read the comments of women because I never, I never, this just came to me like after just it's these, an these, and yes, these couple happens. hours of, of talking with women that have been battered that I, I look up to. So I, I, I start to, I, I, I really start to look at my life and the, my relationships with women. And I want to sit down with women that I've dealt with and ask them, damn, have you ever, yo, because I know I probably added to the, to the trauma, bro. I, ne- I know I did. And I know I did. And I know that there's men that are doing it. Instead of asking our women, yo, we got to sit them down, bro. We got to grab them. And we got to, when they're going crazy, bro, we got to sit there and we got to ask them what's wrong, bro. We got to do more comforting. You know what I'm saying? Because we want these women to cook for us our laundry. But when they need us, and I'm guilty of this, when women have needed me, I didn't know how to, I didn't know how to nurture them. You understand? None of us, because we're all, a lot of us, we, we, we came from domesticated homes, or a lot of us don't know how to be a, a, a nurturer to a woman. You understand what I'm saying? A woman that's going through trauma. I'm guilty of that. I don't know how to do that. But, but understand something, right? So what we're talking about here, and realize that, all right, so this is two parts. This is twofold. And, I, and I, at first, let me say, I commend you. Hey. I truly do, because it takes gut. It takes grit it takes a sense of awareness because i can't i can't i can't say this on my life and not look at my own life no, fair enough, you know fair enough. I, can't and I, don't think, I don't think i don't think enough people are willing to be that transparent as you were just right there so right. for that I'm, I'm dead ass serious when i say this and i literally have been to the belly of the beast as a woman you understand Everything. When I say everything, I literally mean everything that can happen to a woman has happened to me. And the reason why my story has the power it has is because what happens in that space is that I understand that not all of these women can identify with each and every single thing that I speak on but they can identify with some parts of it. So that means that they're all inside of me. And that's why I'm an alphabet, if that makes sense. So you can have a whole alphabet soup behind your name with PhDs and MBAs and MBAs, oh, but none of that matters. None of that matters because if you don't understand what it means to be broken, it is not going to help anyone, right? So I want you to realize, first of all, when a woman is coming to you in a space where her brokenness has infiltrated even down to the fire of who and what she is to the cellular, molecular level. How do you comfort? I'm going to be honest with you. You won't be able to until she is able to even acknowledge what has happened. Let me explain how deep my stuff runs. My stuff runs so deep that I didn't even realize that the reason I have so many children is because I needed to create my own family. You feel me? I by far, and anybody who knows me knows, I don't play with my kids. When it comes to mine, I'm going to come after you. I don't care who you are, where you come from, what it is you do. If you come after mine, I'm coming for blood. I'm asking questions later. If my baby's hurt, missing, or crying, I ain't even calling no 911. I'm going to find out where you are, Facts. and I'm going to drag Facts. you out Facts. wherever you are Facts. at. And I guarantee Facts. you, you're going to question my name by the time I'm done. When it Your comes kids. to my. Well, but I got a question for you, though. Your kids are respectful. Absolutely. Your kids are not going to be on the streets swearing. And, you know, when somebody, if somebody's coming for your kids, right? They, you know it's, it's because they buy it. You know that your kids. But my kids ain't even on the street. Let me tell you something. When you see the thing that goes bump in the middle of the night, when you know what the devil looks like because you looked him right in the eye and you mm-hmm. dance with him, when you know exactly what predatorial behavior looks like and you can identify it within 10 seconds of seeing it, you best to believe it. You best to believe that ain't no way in hell I'm going to allow you anywhere near my children. And let me tell you now, kid, you don't know if he's dating you or your kids. So let me do you a favor. Don't become that desperate. Don't become that weak. Don't become that needy that you need a man to think it's going to cause you to feel like you're going to be a woman only by having him stand near you. I don't think you understand what it is I'm giving you. I'm giving you a million dollars worth of game for $9.99. Mm. Mm-hmm. You messed up when you let me through the door.
God. I keep telling people this. You give me a stage, you give me a mic, I'm going to show you what I do. God ain't ready for me today. And now, now, this is what I want to say. Now, to the women, right, that I've talked to, and I said I was going to ask this question to you. How can women feel comfortable, like you said, with their trauma, right? If a man keeps badgering them. She won't. How do you break that, though? First of all, bro, you got to understand some Some things are above your pay grade. <laughs> First of all. But you have to break it, though. Hold because on, if you got trauma. No, no, hold on. Let me teach you. I promise. Okay, I'm I'm gonna, I'm, listen. I promise I'm going to give you some gold. Jazz. By the time we're done, baby, you go, your crown is going to be sparkling. With the gems I'm about to give you. <clears throat> no man can fix you. Only you can fix you. First of all, the first thing I need you to understand is that the first step to healing is acknowledging and working to the point where you no longer need to be gaslit by your family, by your people, mm -hmm. by anyone telling you to rewrite your history. Let me tell you, I tell everybody all the time, I stand unapologetically in my truth, my light, with my voice. Now, the reason why I say this is because I spent many years going forth to people and saying, I recall when you did me so well, because see, I don't know about you, but I got the memory of an elephant. I can tell you what you said, when you said it, how you said it, what you were wearing, what it was like outside, and exactly how you touched me, didn't touch me, or didn't protect me. And when I come to you, and I tell you what happened, and you act all stupefied, dumb, blown away, almost flabbergasted at the fact of what I'm bringing before you. But see, what I call that is, oh, you don't remember because that was just a normal Tuesday for you, but um, you changed the wiring in my brain. You left me in a place where I was constantly in fight or flight. See, what we as women go through is not going to be necessarily the same challenge that our brothers go through. See, when I walk out the house, the likelihood that I'm going to come back alive, not shot dead by a cop, is almost guaranteed. But the likelihood that my brother is going to make it home and through the day and not have that be his demise is 50-50 at best. 50-50. Those are the last seven numbers I saw. At best. See, as our brothers are being hunted, their trauma is different than ours. We become the byproduct of a place where fathers are missing. See, man will not come and disrespect a woman and put his hands on her and treat her any old kind of way or treat her like she's a commodity if there's about five brothers and a father standing at that door. That's why I say, yo, we need us. We need us to protect our women. You know what I'm saying? If we're not going to stand up for our women, yo, that's what's going to happen. And like I was talking with these people, yo, yo, men are so weak right now. Without you, we can't live now. Now we can't live without you. If you just decided to say you didn't want to fuck, we can't live. Everybody needs to be taught better. Somewhere along the line, no, 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 no,
There's a lot of us that are men that we have trauma to. And I think that a lot of the women are not, uh, what is that word? Chief Reciprocated? Reciprocated. Of that. Of that. Like but, how, but how can you accept or respect or expect reciprocation if some of our biggest transgressors, some of our biggest abusers were men? How can you ask me as your woman to hold you down when you are literally emulating everything that my father did to me? How do you expect me as a woman to somehow absorb your heartache, absorb your pain, because when you were out there, the white man didn't give you the respect you deserve and didn't give you a space at his table, and so now you're feeling rejected and you're feeling angry, and you come home, and who are you taking it out on? The first set of people that got your back. So now, I'm going to ask the question again. How can I, as a woman, hold not only down the household, raise these children, turn around, and probably work a 40-plus hour job, still have to show up at the schoolhouse, still got to turn around and make sure dinner is on the table, and then I got to be that person in bed. Because I got to compete with social media. I got to compete with the videos. Because my body don't look like this one. Because I don't got the bankroll like that one. And because I'm watching Instagram, I somehow believe this is who and what I should be and represented by. I don't think y'all would. I do. I do. I do. Because that's facts. That's facts. Because just like I was sitting there talking to when we was having a discussion earlier, and I, and I was sitting with a a girl that be stripping, right? For instance, right? And one of my sisters is over here, and she and she put it perfect the way I wanted to say. Just because a girl is stripping don't mean you got a label. Absolutely not. Because I know strippers that are stripping just to pay their bills. Absolutely. So men have to know there's limits. Yo, I'm sitting with these women, so you niggas ain't trying to act like you ain't doing this. Yeah. You don't act like that's rape, bro. Just because she's an escort, yo, she says no, no, don't say all oh, the bitches look. Oh, she's a stripper. That, that's unacceptable. That is unacceptable, fellas. Y'all are doing that and can't say y'all ain't doing it. I don't, like I said, I'm, I don't, I'm not calling no names. I'm not going to get into that ever again. But what I'm telling you is, yo, a, just because a woman is a stripper male, that doesn't mean that you can rape her. That don't mean you can touch her. Absolutely not. Let me, let me, let me, let me say something. See, that's a reflection on your mama. Woo! Oof, I said what I said. I don't, I, I, I need to be very clear about this. See, the minute you think that you have the right. But how can you say that it's on the mama and get the door? What do you mean? Father, the door going to the script? No. All right, all right. Teaching right. that man or female. Oh, all right, all right, all right. All right. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Teach. Let me, let me tell you something. I'm going to be honest, right? We're going to be honest about this. Yes. We're going to have this real conversation. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to let you some people. Yes, but I'm going to tell you something. Let me tell you. Listen when listen you more. put your male son in a man's position and you call him the man of the house and you tell that little boy he's your husband, you better act and wonder why you got a broken man that ain't going to lunch. When you turn around and you put that son inside of a position where he don't belong, you're best to believe. He Hold on now. Or he is up there. Or he is up there. Or he is up there. The reason why this sort of thing happens, I don't think you're ready for what I'm about to give you. Yeah, when the cool. time comes and you put that little boy, that innocent little child that is a clean slate, and you pour your brokenness on him as it oozes on him like a bacteria and cancer, you put the boy at 15 and 16 years old while he's running out of those streets. Woo! Let me tell you why. Because you told him he was a man in the house. You told him he didn't have to do it. You made his sister get up and take care of him. When you didn't want to do it, let me tell you right now, that little boy is not too Serious. Serious. I they messed up when they let me in the door. This is a ice cold one. Oh my god. Oh my god, see what did I tell you? Didn't I tell you I got I know I know I'm telling you, I know that's why I gotta give it to you real here. See, I know you probably
out and said, oh, I, I'm going to be sensitive here. No, I swear to God, I'm so unsensitive. I don't give a fuck about nobody's feelings. When it comes to my women in my city, I give two fucks. Giving it real. <laughs> Can I tell you? <laughs> What's crazy? I'm going to die. I've been to Boston. I've been to Chicago. I've been to New York. I've been to I've been to D.C. and I've been to Atlanta. And the one thing I can tell you is the hood. I don't care what city you're in. I don't care what state you're in. If you're brown like me, then it's safe to say that there's one thing that we all can agree upon. The system is set up for us not to be successful. There might be one or two that might make it out. Amen to that. We got to change the mentality of what and where we come from before we ourselves become extinct. Now, before you talk about it, what I'm talking about when I say it, watch this now because I'm about to teach. What I'm talking about when I say this is that what we are doing to ourselves are literally poisoning not only our minds and our bodies, but our children. See, I don't know about you, but I'm about building legacy. I know when I close my eyes, there's one thing that every single person that is on this planet will do. Leave. Absolutely. Eventually. What I do know is this. You will not define me. Maybe you decided to build that trench. Maybe you decided to dig that grave for me. But you best to believe you ain't going to outwork me. And you best to believe that same grave that you made for me, I'm going to make sure you fall in it. Don't play with me today. I'm about to tell you how to fix it. I'm about to give you something. And when I tell you what it is that you gotta do, you best to believe if you apply the tools, if you do the work, there is no way. Money. You got your own money. Yo, remember what I told you about yo getting your own yo. I sat with her. The first thing she told me was, I don't care how much money you got. I don't care. But let me tell you something. You are not going to out-hustle me. You are not going to outwork me. I ain't going to keep going. I'm keep going. And, yo, that was one of the things that she stole my heart, bro. No, because I, I never, I, I, if, if I can build me somebody else that can hustle like me, you know where I can go? You know where to hustle like I can? So when you get a woman that says, I don't care. You know what she says? I don't care about building. I'm going to pay my own bills. I don't need no nigga to pay my bills. I'm going to do it myself. I'm going to go get it myself. And that's what my sisters in Rhode Island do. They work three jobs. They work, I see this every day, Mel. Mel, I got my sisters, I'm telling you, my sisters are dope in my city. Let me tell you you something about some of my women in my city. Let me see. Hey, yo, some of them, they're baby fathers of the city. Some of them, their baby fathers are no good. Don't go give up nothing. They're on Instagram with bottles of liquor. All that they don't give up nothing. Their mothers, you know what their mothers are doing? Trap them. You got any, yo, they're cleaning houses, Uber and they're doing whatever they got. And McDonald's, Burger King. That's why I tip everybody in Dunkin' Donuts. I tip them. I respect every Dunkin' Donuts worker. Because that's a mother in there trying to feed a kid. Because one of these niggas out there is taking care of their kids. Oh, God bless their soul, one of their fathers are deceased. Oh, one of their brothers, one of these brothers are in prison. Cops. Cops. Right. Hmm. So understand what I'm saying? Oh, so let me, let me this is this is what my sisters, this is how strong my sisters are. But see, that's what's so amazing about the resilience of the black woman. But it's all women. Oh, 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 oh my city got oh, converted. Oh, blacks oh, are not all blacks. There's whites oh, in the oh, city. Oh, Oh, all right, we got Latinos. I, I know, I know, I, I know. I'm just sorry. I'm just sorry because some people be acting like we're just black here. Nah, we got every all every Let me tell you something. Um, see, that's what I want to tell you about my my black sister. See, when you when you look at the history books of your black sisters from the beginning of the inception of this country. The black sisters have helped plan when all of the world was out to destroy the everlasting fiber of the black family. But see, then what happened was 
as we became the melting pot that we are today. And you add the Cape Verdean, you add the Dominican, you add the Cuban, you add our white sister counterparts, you add all of that. What we do? I know, but you got a lot of people in the because I know. But he broke out Oh, no, don't worry. I don't think it's in Alameda. He can do that too. Ah, what she say. She know what she say. Don't worry about it. Ah, 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 See, I'm gonna tell you how it works, sis. I don't care what color you are. I don't care what your creed is. I don't even care whether you went to school or you did it. What I do care about is your moral value and compass that you install in your children. Right. What I do care about right. is how you learn to love yourself. See, when I watch people ask the question, why don't you love yourself? The problem is, is that most adults that when we were kids never taught us how to love ourselves and just simply expected us to do it. But if you've been breaking me down since the day that I started walking, there's no way, there is no way, there is no way that I'm going to be able to love myself. I can't, and, I, and I'm guilty of that. I'm guilty of that. I'm, I'm going to say right there, I'm guilty of that. Like I told you from the start. Yo, when you stop realizing shit, you sit with real individuals, real women that have been through pain, and I'm sitting there with women crying on my shoulders about things and trauma that they hold. I started to evaluate my life. You understand what I'm saying? The things, the wrongs that I was doing in life, the wrong how I was treating women emotionally because I learned, and I want everybody to learn this too today, man. And if that don't notice, yo, uh, yelling at somebody is worse than hitting. Oh, absolutely, because the words. Right. Let me tell Word, you something. No, I, I I sat one second. Though. I sat with a with a lady like last night, and she's a she's probably watching. And we sat for a while, and she was telling me about uh, verbal abuse, like trap. When you get mad, I don't know how to calm down. And there's a lot of brothers like me. My sister right here, she's just like me. When she started, when she comes over here and talks, she got she can't sit down. That's the comment she's gonna be. So imagine her when she gets it, when she starts talking. So I'm the same way. So if you don't know me, you're, you're, you're off the top. I, I intimidate you, but I'm not that person. You understand what I'm saying? So when a woman, when I'm when I'm badgering a woman, right? That's been through a lot of trauma, so right? Shut down. She's, there you go. But see, understand oh, something. Down. Yeah, let me let me. Let and me. we all do this. And fellas, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm only speaking for me. I'm not speaking for nobody else. I'm speaking for me. I'm taking accountability for me. You understand what I'm saying? I'm not speaking. Right. I'm telling fellas that are doing this to females. That's right. Yo, we gotta stop. Right. But we have to. But, but trap, it runs even deeper. Now the stuff that these women in my city have endured, that they're holding in their head. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. That they gotta live with every day, that's going right. to these football fields, basketball games, soccer games with these kids with no help from the father. We call them. They don't want to pop up to see what they're doing. Yeah. <laughs> don't you understand what I'm saying? Oh, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me say. Pop up to see what the baby mama doing. Watch, 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 watch this show. <laughs> so you talk about the verb. Let me, let me, let me, let me drop some, some gems. Sis, yo, sis, pull up, pull up, pull up. I got something. Come here, baby. Come, come on, come on. Yeah, come on, come on. Come on. Watch yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. Let's go. I was, I was actually no, talking to you. She was talking to the Oh, no, no, but I want her to come up here. No, 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 I want you. Can you talk to her for a second? No, 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 no. I want your opinion. Hold up, Mel. Mel, one second. I hate to do this, Mel. But her, on um, this side where I was at, right here, right here, yo, I wanted to do some Tina. This is my sister. Oh, no, you know what I'm saying? Her point of view, I, I, I want, I, no, 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 because she has been through trauma too in her life. You understand what I'm saying? And she made so many valid points about females today that I want you to hear, that I want to discuss. You understand what I'm saying? Because some females don't know how to deal with bad men. Bad men. So when we was talking about how a man goes in the house and he's all stressed out, Sheena, what does the first thing a girl do? Well, you got to ask me. Uh, but, 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 but even before we get to that point, right? Check this out, sis. That, that young lady, 
the Lord is broken by her mother and her father. Right. Absolutely. By the, by the time that little girl was 10 years old, she probably was told that her skin wasn't beautiful, that her hair was not the right grade, and that she was not good enough, smart enough, or able to be who she was meant to be. Then you're going to put in that mix a whole lot of mental, verbal, and spiritual abuse. See, how can you be spiritually abused? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Spiritually. Spiritual abuse is when somebody overholds a religion over your head mm -hmm. to tell you that there's some phallus place and where you will go if you don't behave correctly. Wow. You're going to help because you're gay. You're going to help because If you cannot accept me for who I am and what it is that I bring to the table, you do not deserve to be in my cipher. Right. When I give you who I am, believe me the first time. See, the problem with women is that when the man shows you who he is, you do not believe him the first time. That's where you made your mistake. When you gave me the first red flag, I thought it was pretty. And then when you gave me the second one, I thought it was even more beautiful. By the third one, I sold them together and I turned them into a scarf. Cover my eyes. And cover your damn when, you, when you look at a man and you go, oh girl, he's so fine. Oh my God, did you see the kind of car he's driving? I bet he got money. Girl, he was popping bottles in that club. Girl, did you see the amount of gold he had around his neck? So let me help you out. First of all, most likely his underwear has holes in it. Most likely that <laughs> bottle. Too refit. That part. Most likely that bottle just set him back two weeks worth of rent that he has not paid. Mm -hmm. And then on top of that, it's I almost lease. guarantee the lease is not even in his name. It's God. his baby mama because his credit is all jacked up anyway. God. So before you oh, come for me, God. let me let you know, oh, sis. I don't want his stuff. I want my own. I want my own truck. You got to believe when I show up or I show up, my truck is mine. If I asked you how many times I've heard somebody ask me, hey, sis, are you driving your man's car? Hell no, I'm not. Matter of fact, if you look at the vanity plate, I made sure it said mom. Oh, God, no. Oh no, God no. So these niggas, see, I never said this on the show. When I was saying, everybody was saying I was hating, da da da, because I said these niggas come and faking these women with these finance cars and all of that. I was hating. I don't give a fuck if my car costs five hundred dollars. But at least it's yours. It's mine. I can sell it. And like I was telling one of my friends, yo. A mother, I have never met one person that owed $30,000 on his car that went to jail and, and they paid his car note and kept his car. Mm. I don't know one drug dealer that's ever did it. So why is that a good move? My real question is how the hell do you decide to think that an $80,000 Mercedes parked outside the project was somehow a good financial investment? I want to know when you're going to take it, flip it, not flip it to make more of it, but flip it to make it legit. I want to know, have you learned about the LLC? Have you learned about what your rights are? Have you learned how to invest your money? Have you learned what chain blocks are? Have you learned what the new way of form of building is doing? Do you know about the money investment? What I do want to know is that you're too worried trying to figure out how you're going to scam the system this month. And so you want to make sure you keep your section eight. How about we buy you a free family and you rent out the other two floors to somebody that got the section eight to help her get up to where she's got to go. Somewhere, it's got to start in our community. I'm so tired of watching the crab and the barrel effect. You see someone make too much. The next thing you got to do is pull them down. The minute you see somebody doing something good, you gotta make it not right. I'm tired. Stop pulling each other down. That's the stoker. Stop pulling each other down. That part. That, that part. Stop. We don't gotta pull that say, No, I'm not from Providence, but what do they call Providence? The city? What do they call it? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Hidden City. Oh, Hidden City. That's because. We gotta change that. Nah, we gotta change that narrative. Change that, that narrative of, yo, this is why. This is why I say, if you don't like some, if you don't, no, I, I forgot what, what rapper said it. He said it. If, if I don't like it, I don't like it. That don't mean that I'm hating. Right. 
Yo, you if you don't like some, you don't gotta go and go, yo, that video chapter them did was corny. I think them niggas was gay. Y'all went and told females that. Yo, how can y'all do that? That's knocking a man down. Knocking a man down. When you don't know how to love yourself, there's no way you can love another. I cannot love you as a woman if I don't know how to love myself. To expect you to pour into me and to fix my brokenness is to expect a raindrop to fill the ocean and make it whole. I cannot expect you as a black man, as a man in general, to undo years of abuse that happened well before your time. But you, sir, do have a form of responsibility. Your responsibility is to not add to this level of trauma that I can. Okay. It took 25 years. Let me say that again. 25 years of therapy to get to where I stand today. For me to stand here and tell you that every single one of my abusers has since become my teacher. People see that and they get real uncomfortable because oh, oh, we oh, are you, meant. Uh, no, I need you. I need you to bring that back. Be your teacher. I, I, see, I, I, I was in a. You don't. You don't get there until you accept your drama and you live it and you work it. That's the only time you'll get. The only there. way your abusers become your teacher. Is when you are so far gone in the healing process mm -hmm. that when you start it, it first starts with the forgiveness. Mm -hmm. And you might say, well, Mel, how does that work? But well, see, first, understand my forgiveness is not for my abuser. My forgiveness is for myself. When I forgive myself, what I'm really doing is I'm searching for the little girl inside of me that was traumatized and was stunted at that age, and I go find her, and I say, soldier, you did your job. Soldier, you held down your post. You kept me safe when there were things that went bump in the night, and they found me all the time. Since I want you to know, let me tell you something. My first marriage was over 16 years. Watch this track. 16 years I was married to my first husband. And I did my job dutifully. I never went out. I never ran the streets. I laundry, never went to the, the I cooked. I cleaned. I did laundry. I took care of children. I did all of that. I paid all of the bills that were related to utility. He paid the mortgage. He paid the health care. He took care of the cell phone. Okay, so I paid my part. insurance. I paid for my school loan because I have three college degrees. Now watch where this goes. That same man that I knew was probably one of the hardest working men that I've ever met. The man works. Would get up at four in the morning and wouldn't come back to the house till 10 o'clock at night. The man works. I never had to worry about whether or not that bill was gonna get paid or my insurance was gonna be there. The man worked. But see, because I didn't want conflict, because what I was trying to do was recreate what I thought in my mind was what my children and my daughters deserved, which was a two-parent household, which was a big house, which was the car, which was the vacation and the ring, and I had the title. The problem is that a lot of women are in love with the idea of marriage, but do not understand what it's going to take to keep that marriage. Woo! You fall in love with the dress, the ring, and you want to do it all. But the problem is this, you don't understand about the work it's going to take to maintain and keep that relationship. He is not going to be my arm candy. He's going to be my partner in crime. If I can't build with this man, I have no reason to be with this man. See, when they begin to talk about how we do this, I want to show you something, Trap. That same man, the man that I just told you about, how he's probably the hardest working man that I know, that he made sure that I had, he made sure those bills were paid, is the same man that snapped my right ankle. See, he jogging? Not a baby. He was jogging, right? He yeah. snapped it. He 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 snapped it. Let me help you out. We were beefing the nigga threw me into the first oh, table. When I did hit the ground and I hit the ground, he picked me back up and made sure to suplex and body slam me. And when I hit the ground, that ankle snapped. Oh, man. Now, I want to tell you that, T, but understand. This was not somebody that every day came home and beat me. No. This is not a man that 
that put me down and called me names. I don't believe the man ever called me out of my name to my face. Maybe once did anything. I told you 16 years in marriage. I didn't have my first fight with this guy until seven years into my relationship. Right. And you was a small relationship. Seven years? No, because I understand what it means to get stuff done. Sacrifice. I understand what it means Lock. to keep the peace. I understand what it means no, to keep my name. Tell me what it means to keep the peace, I pick my battles. So when I do open my mouth, you best to believe you better stop and listen to me. If I'm coming at you every five seconds, you're not going to hear me. You're just going to tune me out. So instead, what I do is I figure out what is it that I really want and why am I doing what it is that I'm doing. So I'm going to show you how this works. If every day you come home and I already know you got an attitude, I'm not going to interact with you. I'm going to let you do what you got to do. When, when you're ready to act like you're ready to deal with me, you come find me. In the meanwhile, if you don't handle your business, if you don't take care of home the way you need to, you best to believe there's about eight other dudes out in the wings that are just dying at a chance to tap in and have an opportunity to show me their 90-day representative. See, what I tell people all the time is y'all get it twisted. You think because it came with good morning. Did you eat lunch today? Oh, maybe we could go. You think you got a good list? Uh, uh, uh. Nah, I said she just met his 90 day representative. Who I care about is who's showing up on day 100. I don't right. care what it is you're talking about. What I'm telling you is what I'm telling you. And best to believe it when I say it. If I can't love you at your worst, you definitely don't deserve me at my best. And I don't care what it is that you got to bring to the table. If we're not building together, we're building nothing. nothing. I'm not going to nothing. allow my children's happiness nothing. or their well-being or mental stability to be impacted by anything. No. I got to cut. I'm going to cut this short. But I got, before I go, I, got, I just want to thank you. I'm oh, no. coming to the No Longer Track podcast. Absolutely. She is going to be a guest down here once, twice a month. Anytime we're going to be going to Boston. Can, can, we, can we hold out five more minutes? Let me ask you, let me tell you why. Oh, we can hold out for 20 more minutes. Let me, let, me, let me tell you why. You I thought your knees was getting hurt. Oh, no, baby. I'm good for this. Oh, shit. When Let's God, get it. When God, Let's when get it. God made Let's me. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's Let's get it. it. Let's get it. God it. made me. Two Get another sandwich. This way, because... He knew that I was going to be on this platform. He knew that this day you were going to hear my voice. He knew that you needed to know that you were not alone. He needed you to know that you are somebody. He needed you to know that you are going to be who you deserve to be. But you have to take accountability for your own stuff. When you start blaming everybody else for your problems but you yourself are the one creating the storm, you cannot expect somebody to come out and save you. You're not going to be saved by some Prince Charming. It's not real. I'm sorry Disney sold you the dream. But the truth of the matter is, we are out in these streets living day to day, whether you're working two jobs, three jobs, and doing what you got to do. Nobody is going to be able to turn you around and get you where you need to go if you yourself don't even know the direction you need to be walking. Now listen to this. See, you want to keep going. Oh, I'm built for this. I'm going to see Endur- you Endurance. I'm going to see if you're built. Check it out. He, he didn't know, did he? Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. So what about the men's? I'm going to tell you stages of stress that we go to. Right. Do so you know that we got men that go home every night and they stages to our stress before we go home? Do you yeah. know what? Do you know That's that? That's called fight or flight. All right. Do you know that there's, there's, there's places where we at that is sacred. As soon as you get into a car, one of my brothers said, as soon as he gets into his car, right, he goes down the street, that's one stage. As soon as he gets down in the street of his house, that's another stage. When he walks up to his house, that's another stage. Hold me up. I'm going to keep going now. Now, now this is the stress of the trauma. Because I was just in the shop with all of us having fun. Now my mind is there. I got in the car and shook my head because I know I'm going home for some bullshit, right? Now, when I get to the door, that's level four. Can you hit that? Can you hit that? You gotta keep calling. You gotta hit. Stand right there. So that's level four trauma. That's level four. Yeah. That's level four. So now, as soon as I open the door, you start yelling. Mm. How is a man supposed to cope with that? Lack of communication, though. 
That's why I like communication. But understand something. You know what I'm saying? If you broke and you broke, you're not going to be broken. So you're saying there's no, you can't fix brokenness. Nah, you got to fix it yourself. You cannot expect so a relationship. Again. Correct. So again, if you know that your last relationship with your child's father was not only abusive, emotionally, physically, whatever that looks like. You have absolutely no business getting into any situation until you work out what it was that you just came out. I cannot expect, and I'm going to talk like I'm like you and me right here. I cannot expect you to clean up the mess of somebody else and then be mad at you because you didn't do a good enough job. That's yeah. insane. That's insane. Yeah. I can't expect you as a man and, and see, understand something again. That's not Captain Hayden's soul. That, what is that? Save a hoe. Complex. And, that's and let, me, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me tell you, you got a lot of brothers out here that are homeless sexual. <laughs> let me say that again. Homeless. How can you break that down? Sexual. Homeless sexual. A homeless sexual is going to be a man that shacks up with a woman because he has nowhere to go. Oh, no, he's not broke. You're a homosexual. No, no, no. Oh, my God. You don't understand. You got to be broke. Oh, man, I'm going to hit you bitches with this. Oh, my God. You're a homosexual in your house. Correct. And then you got a man that lives in five homes. Correct. Correct. And then, and then let, 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 if we're gonna if we're gonna be honest about this, right? Let, watch how this goes. How is it and why is this? Is wise up, wise up, sis. Let me help you out. Wise the f up. Wise up, sis. Um, as soon as tax season comes, oh, all of a sudden he's oh. the bestest of the bestest oh, of the best. She's trying to go and after you. Like, for, she's going after nah, you. Nah, let me tell you, I'm coming hand yeah, in on it all yeah, because I'm not talking for the women too. Because they're that's the what ones I'm talking to. Well, I'm not talking to the dudes. That's not my side of the house. Oh, my side of the house is the women. I can't tell a man how to be a man because I'm not a man. I can't tell a man what to do with a man because I'm not a man. What I can tell you is what I expect as a woman, but I'm not going to tell you how to do it because I've never stand it peeing upside down like that. I've always sat on a chair. So if that's the truth, then I can't begin to tell you how to be a man. Just like I can't really raise a boy to be a man, all I can do is infuse into that boy what I think a man should be. I can't turn around. I told you don't let me go home here because I wasn't done. Yes. Fine. Yo, hey, yo, see, this is this is the topics, this is the topics I love. Because this is the topics some of my sisters we need, some of my brothers we need. You know why? Because I learned, I sat here with my brothers today, and I learned that all the people that I grew up with, like right, when I was young, that had a lot of stuff. They had all they wasn't dirty kids like me, you know. They had all the Jordans, they had all you know where they're at right now, man? Now they're begging for change and stuff. You know why? They all fucked up mentally. Cause they never knew how it felt to be on the bottom. Now. Oh, so they didn't know how to feel. See, when you don't know how it feels to be on the bottom, see, they were seeing Jordans and stuff their whole life. So now when they had to fend for themselves because their mothers even deceased or the money ran yeah. out, they, they, they some of them are crazy. I go by and I see them at the corners and I go, damn, he, he wasn't even a kid. I used to want him. I used to be what what? Yo, can you shut that? You know what I'm saying? I used to wanna, I used to wanna be there. I used to go to his house and go, yo, I wanna play his Atari. I want, you know, these are the same people on the corners right now. <laughs> they don't know how to do that. A lot of times, that's when the mama treated him like the husband. See, when you give too much and you don't have enough emotional support and direction to give, then you're gonna create broken little human beings. When you give them Jordans when they're two and three years old, the reason you're doing this is because you're lining the pockets of somebody who could care less about you or your kid. And in fact, what you're doing is you're creating a fashion style symbol, saying that I have enough money that I can put J's on my baby's feet. But see, I'd much rather you take that same J money that your baby's about to outgrow and learn how to invest it in a Roth IRA. See, I don't know about you, but I'm trying to create legacy. I want to create generational wealth. Oh, sister, I am tired of y'all with your fish oh, plates sister. trying to raise money because Pookie done got shot and died. Oh, I'm tired sister. of having to go to the GoFundMe page. I'm tired of y'all thinking that that's going to be your insurance policy. I'm so tired. And I'm telling you right now, if you don't get hit to the game and you don't understand, you're going to be outsourced. And I'm telling you now, the way the world is going, there's no middle class anymore. So either you have or you have not. And let me let 
to know it is no longer gonna be about anything more than a social economic status. They're not gonna care if you're white, you're black, you're Chinese, or you're Asian. What they're gonna care about is how much Bitcoin you have in the account and what your chain block looks like. And if you don't even know what a chain block is, bro and sis, I tell you now, you better get educated. You better find it out. Because I'm telling you right now, the NFTs ain't going nowhere. And if you don't understand what is happening to the world in which you live in, because you have been plugged into the matrix and you're too busy watching all the TikTok videos and you're too busy on Instagram liking posts that don't even matter and have no significance to your life, you best to believe when I tell you what I tell you. There's time and the time has come now. And I'm, yo, and I got to applaud you once more. Where can we follow you at? Can you get your social media? Can you get my sisters? Yo, if y'all want to, hey, yo, let me tell you something about this sister. If y'all no, want to reach out to her, you want to say what I'm saying? Yo, you can get her on Instagram. Instagram. Oh, yeah. she's, about to, she's about to tell you all her Instagrams. Because you know her Instagram, 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 I don't know nothing about. So I'm going to let her tell you her Instagrams. Yo, you sisters, yo, reach out to me. If you want a motivational speaker, yo, you need, you need a woman in your life to help you out. Yo, I got other women just like her right here in my city. You know what I'm saying? Life coaches. Yo, we need to, we need to get these women. We need to, this emotional trauma that our women is going through. This emotional trauma that us, us as men are going through. We need to all get help. You understand what I'm saying? If I got to be the face to everybody getting mental health help, I will be that. You understand what I'm saying? Because, yo, there's a lot of me and my brothers that we all need help. You understand what I'm saying? There's a lot of my sisters that they need help. Two mm. mental health people at one time when we collide, when we collide, it's, it's, it, 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 it just goes crazy. You understand what I'm saying? So a lot of times when I be thinking a lot of these women are crazy, not just women I deal with, when I see women that my friends deal with, when we be thinking that they're crazy, we don't understand that the emotional trauma that they Well, you think made them that way. You understand what I'm saying? You think she just woke up yesterday and said, oh, I'm going to be this deranged female right now? I'm going to be crazy and go through this phone. Nine times out of ten, that cat was gaslighting my ass from day one. Lying about what he's doing with his baby mama. Lying about what he's doing with his home, girl. Saying that that's his cousin, but it really ain't. When you sit here and you really want to talk about it and triage the problem in which we are dealing with, you have to begin to understand something, Trap. Absolutely. A lot of these kids... That these young kids that are growing up, they never have fathers. Right? That's my point. So, I like, I like a lot of, like a lot of times. So now, I, now I'm going to use me for example now. Yeah. Yes. When I see mothers bring their children to basketball, football, and stuff, yes. games, why is it the fathers bring them? Mm. Why is the fathers? Why yo? I encourage fathers, bro. If you got sons out here that play for the Intruders, the Cowboys, the Eagles, anybody, yo, yo, us as fathers, bro. We got to get our That's sons, bro. Much respect to the you ones that do. And yo, I shout out to all the fathers. Yo, I, one, one second now, I get on my knees and I shout out to all the fathers that are there, out there in the cold, out there every week with their kids out there in practice. Yo, I salute to you. You understand what I'm saying? No matter if I don't like you or not, I see you out there and I respect it. You understand what I'm saying? Because I see a lot of mothers out there. Yo, I respect the mothers that are out there every time for basketball practices. They make sure their kids ain't late for that. Yo, fellas, we got to start helping these parents out as we can't be. I know. I, I got to start spending time with my kids. Yo, I got my, I got, yo, I got my, that's what I say that. I got to lead by example. So I have to learn how to spend time with my own kids. You understand what I'm saying? Instead of running these streets. You understand what I'm saying? But sometimes a woman, and this is goes back to a woman, right? And I hate to blame, I didn't blame my fatherhood on no woman, but you, as a woman, you have to know that when you're getting with somebody and you're getting pregnant, you're with a street nigga that runs the streets all day. Am I right? Watch where it's going. I'm just asking you as a no, woman. No, 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 no. I'm I saying. hear that, but that's still not acceptable but, because when you're creating life, you have a responsibility now. Okay. Let, okay. Let, let me, can I, may I, may I interject, gentlemen? You have to change that in. That has to come. That that that's no, no, no. It's not our responsibility it's about your priorities. to change you. Yeah, exactly. Your priorities. No, no, no. No, 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 I'm saying you're right. Teach you, but not. No, I, you. no I'm not teaching a darn thing. But how, you want, how about but, a person that don't know how to be a father? What? Watch this. See. There's a lot of fathers that don't know how to be a father. Listen, I didn't 
didn't know how to be a mother. My mother walked out on me at 11 years old. I never even had yeah, someone sit there and tell me what sex was or how to get a period. I didn't even understand what it meant to how to get pregnant. I did not understand. And the man that impregnated me at 16 years old was 24 years old and I was 16. Don't get me started. I can't stop with her, man. Hold on. I can't let me, let me, let well, me help I know women are like, look at Trap, you better shut up. She is going to tear you down and you niggas. She going to tear you down. Yes, I no, know no, you. No, no, no. I, I love my brothers. No, I, I love, let me tell you more. something. I love men. Look my boys. Yeah, I love men. So I have no problem holding a man down. You understand? But what I will not do is tolerate your nonsense and your BS and your half ass answers and lies. And what you're not going to do is gaslight me. Because the minute I see it coming, I'm gonna make sure that I've exited stage left even before you can even take your jacket off. You're see, that's the reason why I have to get my own back. That's the reason why nobody is gonna do a damn thing for me. I'm gonna do it my damn self because I know already the day is gonna come when the argument starts. And the first thing that's going to come out your effing effing mouth is going to be, well, if it wasn't for me, you wouldn't have Oh, my God. No, it goes both ways, though. Oh, you can say it to the man all the time. I received that. That's fact. Don't that's say fact. you helped me out because I asked you for a situation and you helped me out. You yeah, but I'm not your personal ATM and you know I'm a single mother, so I don't even understand why God's name you coming for me asking me for a goddamn job. I hit my bottom. I hit my bottom. You can't hit my bottom. That's not my job nor my problem. That's why they have but social no, services. That's why they are social services and the huh? people that walk out. Well, what happens when you hit rock bottom? Watch how this goes. When, I, when I hit rock bottom, yeah. the society in which we live in has already been set up for me to be successful. Mm. How? Because yeah, the minute I home. go, because the minute I go homeless, they're gonna make sure to put me up in a hotel or a shelter with my children. The minute I don't got food, they're gonna give me the EBT card. And if I tell them that I can't work because my baby's too little, they're gonna put two three hundred dollars on my books. Now the black man, as the man himself, they're gonna turn around and tell you, you better get off your lazy ass, and you better make sure that it gets done. I'm gonna tell you right now. I don't give a damn where you're coming from. I don't even care where you come from. But what I am going to deal with is you ain't going to take not a grain of rice out of my children's mouth. Now, 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 see, that's what this, this goes to the show. This, I mean, this goes to what, I'm, what I was talking about before with a woman. You know, when a woman is so determined to take care of her family, she can use every resource she got before she starts sleeping outside. Hell yeah. Because I'm before you why. become a burden on somebody else and sleep on it somebody else, it ain't even about the burden. I it ain't even about the whole thing. That's something because you can't sleep on somebody's couch when you and your kids. Not trap. Watch how this is. Why do it? Why? Let me tell you why. No, for, for five years. Oh no, that's two good. years. That's what I'm talking about. What's the what's the limit of couch? What's the limit of sleeping on the couch? Ninety days max. All right. So everybody that's on the couch for more than ninety days is what? So we got to go into what I do do. See? Hold on, let me let me tell you how this works. I got you, bro. All right, tell me. I got you. Hold on. Yeah. Hi, my name is Melanie. Just in case you tuned in, you don't know who's talking to you right now. Let me help you. If you don't get hungry, if you don't get motivated. If you don't know how to reinvent yourself, the problem can never be resolved because you're gonna always be playing the victim and let your sand and the wheels in the sand just spin and spin. There's no way that you're gonna be able to do what you do when you simply think that some man is gonna come and rescue you. You better get all up, sis. Let me tell you something. The same amount of time that you're spending there watching Maury, the same amount of time that you're sitting there watching Netflix, the same amount of time that you're doing whatever the BS that you're doing and wasting your time, you best to believe you could have taken that same amount of time and learned something new. I love it when I see sisters being inventive. I love when I see them doing innovative stuff. I love when I see them saying, I started making cakes. I make plates. I'm doing hair. I'm doing nails. I'm making clothes. I like this. I got this to sell. I got that to sell. Let me tell you something. There's something about ingenuity. There's something about wanting to get your own. And when the man comes in and you expect him to change it all, that is when you made your mistake. I don't know about you, but I ain't gonna let that happen. I'm gonna get my bag. I don't give a damn who you are. I don't care where you come.
come from. You better get up, sis. Get up. I'm tired, but so are you, so get up. Every day I get up at four in the morning. Every day. And the reason I get up at four in the morning is not because I want to. It's not because I don't like the feeling that I have. It's because I have to. And I need to find my why. Why am I getting up? What is my driver? What is going to make it happen? And every single time when I wasn't strong enough and I didn't love myself enough, I needed my and they motivated you to help you Every to keep going on. It was like that. No, it was like that. The no, kids are like that. They keep you moving. Keep you moving. Your kids should never stagnate you. Don't use your kids as a crutch. Keep use your kids as gasoline, not a crutch. My my anchor. Or if it was anchor. not for my children, I'd already be on a lot. The first time I tried to kill myself, I took 600 pills. When I was done, they didn't even understand why I was alive. I wanted to die. There was nothing for me here. Everybody that was supposed to love me broke my heart and let me down. Everybody that was supposed to protect me either hurt me in some way or put their penis in me. I am tired. But I tell you one thing. You ain't gonna write my story. You are not gonna be my man. Because the day is come. You messed up when you let me be. Ah, I keep telling people this. I messed if up you when I did my right. stage. I'm gonna make them come. You don't messed up when you open the door for me. But now I'm gonna chase my back. You ain't gonna tell me that I can't do it. I don't care because there are 7.5 billion people on this earth, and I want 5.6 billion of them to hear my voice. And if that means that I'm gonna keep doing it, I lie back the lie back the lie. That's what I'm gonna do until they build me my stage. Build it, build it. Hey yo, remember I told you, I told you that I was gonna bring nothing but realness. And I know oh, some I, of you, I, some of you is probably, <laughs> some of you is probably thinking like, like, nah, you better not stop crying. No, 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 no. Let me tell you, let me tell you, let me tell you. No, 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 watch this, watch this. No, 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 watch this, trap, trap, watch it. Wherever I go, they cry. Because when I do what I do, I'm coming into your heart. I want you to know I see you. I want you to know I've been there. I want you to know that what it is that you go through day in, day out, when you think nobody understands, when you're crying in the shower so your babies don't see you, you're best to believe, you're best to believe that what I do is for them. So since I tell you right now, wherever you are, maybe you're getting this on repeat, Maybe you're watching this here, you're watching it there. Oh my God, the camera's everywhere. But I want you to know. I see you. I see you. I know what that feels like. I've been there. And not only have I been there, I've been there to make sure you got that pain. I want to know that you can and you will get through. See, I need you to say, I will. I must. Same goes for you, Trap. I will, I must, and I can. See, I want you to know that the loops that we play in our head that tell us that we're not going to be successful, that we're going to fail, that we're going to become our broken parents, that we're going to be something that we're not. I'm here to tell you, since I don't care if you're stripping, I don't care if you got to sleep with somebody and you don't want to because you got to pay it. I don't care what your storyline is. What I do care about is where are you going today? What are you doing to change your scenario and situation today? What is it that you're going to do to ensure that your children see you as you are meant to be seen, which is strong, which is powerful, and which is somebody who's in control? I know my community because you're doing I know my people because I come from the hood. What did I say earlier to you, Trap? I'm a regular schmegular girl <laughs> from the hood. So when I say what I say, realize that I see you because I am you. Because I've been on the bus when it's freezing cold outside and my baby's sick and the baby's crying and the mucus is running down their nose and I still got to wait out in the cold for my baby. 
Today I stand before you. I'm going to keep it 100 because I'm not about heirs. Today I stand in front of you with $6 in my bank account. And I still can. Knowing that I only had 80 more miles in my tank. I still can. Because when the door is going to be given to me, I'm going to say yes and I'm going to show up. Because I don't know who's going to hear me. I don't know who's going to see me. So I'm going to prepare myself every single time. Like I'm standing in front of 40,000 people and I'm touching in their heart space exactly like what happened. So when I say what I say, no, I say it with love. I hear you do. When I give yeah. what I give, know that I'm giving to you as if you are sitting right in front of me. And I'm going to sit next to you. And I'm going to put my arms around you and tell you, sis, I see you. You are beautiful. I don't care what they told you. I don't care what you think. I don't even need to see you in person. And I can tell you so understand that you're doing a work that is thankless. You're doing a work that is just. You're doing a work that is well needed in our community because a lot of brothers, when they come out, are still filled with so much rage and anger that they're not able to place that energy somewhere positive to make a change, to impact young cats who are trigger happy. And you can say, I did 17 years doing hard times and I know what it means when a white man tells me it's time to go to bed. And not only do I know what that feels like, I know what it feels like to see a holiday or a birthday pass and I can't be with my family. I know what it feels like to watch my mama from the other side of the glass and be begging her for $20 to put on my books so that I can eat something outside of the child hall. I want you to know, Trap, that this was not easy, that this was something that you had to believe in, and they told you you weren't shit, and they told you you wouldn't make it, and they told you you didn't have the ability, but Trap, watch me, baby. You, sir, you, sir, are not only an ambassador, sir, you are a general. Woo! Generals know what their troop is going through. Generals know how to motivate the people. Generals know what it feels like to hit the bottom because they came from the bottom and worked their way to the top. Y'all ain't ready for me. When I can make the thuggiest, hardcore nigga cry, you know what I'm saying is the truth. I come in because I love my people. I come in because I have a message. I come in because I know there are things that I have in my toolbox that can help me. So I really think Trap, your real name should be the Five Star General. And the way the streets work is it has to be given. And I agree upon you now, and anybody who wants to come challenge me, why, oh, mother effing me, come find me. This right here is the general of the new movement. Maybe it starts in the smallest state this country has. But that's how grassroots works. We're going to light it up. We're going to light it up. I, I don't know about you, you know, sis. On my shoulder, so you know what I got to do. Do what you got to do. You know Let I me tell do. you, the other day, one of my homegirls from Rhode Island, Jeff, she said, yo, Matt, I'm going to keep it real with you. I said, all right, now say what you got to say. Nelly said, yo, Matt, you make thug-ass niggas cry, and they stop and they listen to you when you start talking to them. Cause I know these dudes don't play. I know that some of these cats are shot callers and they're gorillas. And some of these dudes will have no problem like Big Red in the high heart beats and throw you over a balcony talking about my hours of business or what? Oh, oh, nine to five. Nine to five. Nine to five. <laughs> That's when you know you met a real gorilla. So let me tell you right now, the man standing before me, he looked a little too jacked. I said, wait a second. 
back in here now. He looked like he was throwing them prison pumps and humps. And I said, what the hell? That ain't made at Crunch. That ain't one of those nine to nine kind of gyms. That's that hard kind kind of gym. You know that time that you do so much of it that they say, we're trapping you. Hell yeah, hell yeah. I see you. Yeah. I pay attention. Hard time, hard time, hard time. Hard time. See, that's you. So understand that my story is universal. My message is that. You all are my constituent. You're my people. You're my tribe, chap. You're my tribe, chap. You're my tribe, sis. No, you're definitely my tribe. I'm down with Wapstar. If you don't know, you may block me. No, yeah, block me. You better. You better get to know that. I swear to God, you better get to know it. No longer trap pod, you better get to know it. Block, you better get to know it. Block is where it's at. That's my family. That's the thing. Let me tell you. 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 Let Oh, oh, we're going to take traction on that. Somebody need to hash that. We can't give them that. Oh, we can't do that. God, God. 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 We can't do that. We can't do that. We can't do that. We can't do that. Watch how this goes. I'm going to tell you real fast how this is going to go. And then I'd like to introduce you all to a panel. To be honest, I didn't get the opportunity last night to serve this gentleman. Roses he deserves standing. See, a lot of us, we, we all throw up the, the angel wings when they're gone and we RIP and with buttons and t shirts, and that's my homie. And they don't say too much while they walk in the streets and they're alive, but I'm going to take this moment to talk about T. Watch how this goes. Yo, 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 hold on, hold on. Before I stop you, you better get it towards real about it. I'm gonna give it to you, Rip. Oh, all right. I'm gonna right. definitely give it to you. Don't over try podcast. Don't no, tell no. me it went to us. I already said it's a five star general okay. podcast. Okay. Come, come have a seat with us for a second time, sir. I'm gonna I'm drop it. I'm gonna drop something on y'all out of here that that I want I want y'all to watch this. Watch this. Watch how this goes. I'm literally in the midst. What do you mean? Watch how this goes. They stole it. They hijacked it. Uh, yeah. I literally right now am standing between power. If you don't know what power looks like, let me help you real quick. See, I recognize two things when I see people. One, your work. Two, your paper. I don't care what you can do. I don't even want to know what you get time for. It's none of my business. I don't care. What I care about is what are you doing today. That's all I care. Now watch where this goes. This gentleman sitting here to my, my side is by far one of the most prolific. If you do not know what the word prolific means, I encourage you to Google, look it up, ask Siri to help you out. Prolific black men. And let me let you know, I know many powerful black men in all forms and branches of government, private industry, medicine. I've met many. This gentleman right here is a game changer. This gentleman right here is an innovator. This gentleman right here has literally single-handedly begun the movement to change the hip-hop industry. I don't think you gentlemen understand who is in this room with you right now. Trap did not even know this was going to come down. And I have a real funny feeling that my boy right here, who is by far the dun dun the man that comes with it all, the man that's got the plan, is probably about to drop some stuff on y'all that I watched him do yesterday. I watched this man literally give away $75,000 worth of items that no one was expecting. I watched this man gave away a floor length 
Sony records for over 15 years. So who you think taught this man everything he knows about the industry? Those same old foes that wouldn't even allow that door to open. The same dudes that would turn around and they hired him because they were not relatable. This man right here can not only change your destiny, but he is figuring out how everybody walks away with the bag. With that. <laughs> That's real talk. With that. So please, wherever you may be, put your hands together for the one and only, one and only, Tony. Take away your voice, you won't give me half of you. Your rhyme better be one on it. So now you're taking half of yourself away. Complete yourself, and then you'll be able to deal with the industry, not just me. All right? Now back to moving Back to business. 
We're going to, now when you leave this, the, the engineer's lab, I want you to make sure that you package it up right paperwork wise. A lot of you guys are leaving when they put it in your car. No, I want you to have slot sheets. Slot sheet is made for you personally. We will have the, the, the person who on the slot sheet, if you do not have one, you can always reach me. I will give you one for free. Slot sheet How do they reach you? How do they reach you? You can reach me at the Factory Place Instagram, Factory Place website. I also have the Factory Latino, Factory Fur, and Factory Auto, Factory T. Listen, just reach out. Wait, I got wait, everything. What did, what did I just say? Everything. When I said from the top innovative. to the bottom, don't go to the store. Let me tell you something. I, I, yo, I still feel almost like this man is underselling himself at the moment. He's not even giving you the true essence. I'm, of uh, hold on, I'm here for the beat. I'm here for the artist. Hold on, look, 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 look. look. I know, but let me stay. Let me stay. Let me stay on the artist. But somewhere in here, right? It's what they said earlier. I was sitting over there. They said something. I didn't come over here. I'm going to do a couple shows, but I came on here to see what's going on. Yo, mind you, I heard a lot. I mean, hey, this is talking a lot of shit going on. NYC based. Let's be very yes. clear. This man is NYC based. He came to Rhode Island because he's looking for the diamond in the rock. I don't and think you all understand. He got it in our city, Bill. We're going to get it on the park. Watch, 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 not only watch where it goes real quick. Were you not only on the does he find the beat, he has the studio, he has the engineer, he has the 16 crewed out film crew, he has the plants to be able to paramount to film on any street in the city. Any and street. if it is that you want to have the nice Lamborghini or you want to have the Maybach or you yeah. want to have whatever, guess who owns all those cars? Yeah. That guy. And then not only that, yeah. let's say... Hard work, dedication, shout out to me, buddy. Let's say... <laughs> yo, real talk. Money, man. Yeah, money, baby. What if... The the world. The in the world. You the best in the world. That's my guy, too. If you found out, you said, but I... I still don't got the gear. I still don't got the gold. I still don't got the fur. Guess who owns his own company? Who's producing the fur coats? Who's making the new wave swag obtainable for all? Yeah. So you made fur coats? Um, the boys. some artists and they're thinking that it's the other way around. Oh, no, 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 no. So basically, I would need the older generation, the ones who did not make it, the ones who were in their uncle's basement on their sister's couch who want to now need their nephew on yourself self-managers. If you're going to do it the right way, do it. I'll help you. But if you give me this, I'm going to help just them. Because I'm targeting the youth to help them. Huh? If you weren't going to help me with me, I'm just running right over you. You're wasting time. All right, can I just stop you right there real quick, Tom? Tom, I want to say this, Tom, because I know a lot of managers. I know a lot of, I know a lot of, I'm, I'm in the, I'm kind of in the music industry with, with a few guys that are, that, are, that are rappers that I have on my phone, right? And, I, and I, my nephew's a rapper. You understand what I'm saying? So what I'm saying is a lot of people get, they get this false conception of once they do their music, YouTube's going to make them famous. Oh. Can you just please just touch on that real quick? Because okay. after this conversation like this, I need you young producers and stuff to listen to this man. He's listen trying to, to help this. my city. All right, have, listen to me. I want everyone to hear me now. If you plan on spending your money to come in my studio and you're putting it out on YouTube, you have sadly forgotten. Nothing can come from YouTube. I'm actually a competitive marketer if you find out who I am. 
I actually don't like YouTube. You're not paying back, so I do not like the monetization of forums. And actually, if you want to, you have to remind yourself what all these are. Let me break it down for you. All these platforms, Instagrams, all these things, all these are clubs, man. All you remember one thing: it's you, the audience. Use them. Stop thinking that you're joining them, chilling. Use this platform. Stop this posting. Make sure you stop. Stop posting every ten minutes somewhere. No, you, you're an artist. Take your kids down. Mm-hmm. What are you doing? Mm, talk about it. <laughs> what are you so doing? So it's a lot. Listen, so moving back to that YouTube, talk. what he just said. That's real talk. I want to explain something to you about YouTube projects, is what I call it. I know guys in studios, and the, and the end project is putting it on YouTube, and they're done. What are you doing? What are you thinking? So what I'm going to do is, you ever put one hand behind your back and tie it? I'm banning everybody who's watching from YouTube. Tell me what you do. <laughs> See you later. You ain't nobody if you're still on YouTube. Don't talk to me. You can't get through to me? Don't DM me. Because you're not listening. So the, listen, one thing is for sure, I want all five of your networks all together come around. If you folks don't want it, better hit them all. What you doing? You got to let the people know who you are, the music coming out the right way. Hold on, let me get back to the studio so you can even get them to watch it. Wait a minute. Don't slip. I ain't got you. Look so, at this game I'm giving you. So when you come from the studio, when you have in here with your producer, you hand it to the engineer, I want you to do me a favor. Once you get done recording, you're a businessman, right? You go to Iowa to Iowa. When you go up to the register, they want each one separately, correct? They run it beat me. So when you go get recorded, he's done. I don't care if it's the same guy. Now it's the engineer. Okay, we got something new to talk about. You better stop playing around. Stop smoking in the cut, just getting in the booth, talking about is it done yet. Find out what's going on before you just hit someone handing you something in the car, hearing it for the first time. That's you. Right or wrong. I hit it on the hump. Snap, you remember one thing. If you don't snatch it, we're not gonna snatch it. If, if you come in my studio and all you do is run to the booth, I got I got guys that ain't really into the music like we are. They just record you. What about the paperwork aspect of it? Okay. Okay. Is for manage, let's see. I like, I'm gonna tell you what's happening in my city. Guys are saying that they manage somebody and da da da. There has to be some paperwork before I go to you, right? I, How can I be his 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 manager? Because what happens if I bring him? And what if I bring him? Is that the question? Though, what if I bring him to you, right? And he's a he's a he, he, he turns to be a star, right? Oh, oh, hold on, Trap. And he says he says fuck Trap. Hold on, watch this. Hold on, hold on. Ooh. This is gonna hurt, or oh. the truth? The truth hurts. Let me check this out. We're here, we're here for the industry. Let me get it in. Hold on, I'm gonna get it wrong. Ready? Let me get it wrong. Let me get it wrong. Let me get it wrong. This is wrong. 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 No, listen. Let me tell you what I would do. Me personally, this is what this is how this works. The music business 101. This is it. If you brought him to me, the first thing I would ask him right in front of you is, you want paperwork? If you're not, I would say I'm dealing directly with him. You deal with him. I'm an advisor. I'm a licensed attorney. So I'm, I deal directly with the artist, not even manage him. I tell the artist, we all, you see what the minute, you see what the minute, they taught you? Oh, so you Hold on, wait a minute. You. I'm totally. Oh, see, we always think it's so different. It's not that way because actually okay. the, the references that I have will prove to you otherwise because I put all these labels together. I've been in the background a lot. So. The factory place allows me to be in front to come get you. Mm. I'm actually giving artists third man deal to each other. Oh my God. And hey, yo, so and yo, a, yo, a a told, yo, a lot of people don't believe me. I told you. In trouble. Mm. You got a lot of money, a lot of people well, behind me. It's just a little different. Did I not so coming say here is like the seed of the music. So a lot of people, I chase the seed all over the boat, all over the place. And I want to give you a hint. When I first started my career, I started in my own pop shop. Something just like this. And no one believed in me until, until a famous man walked in and said, Hey, I need to bring you to Vegas. He said, Take a picture. The man brought me to Vegas, right? And I met Al Henry. I ain't never looked back because he brought me to room and met, I met Glenn Savon. So, from those names, you know exactly what I'm telling you today. Mm, I know what I'm telling you. Shot call. You know what I call it. Shot call. So you can Boom. understand, sort of, ask me any question. I might have an answer. Mm. I'm here to build a city, not an artist. So we need label owners. We need managers who's on paper the right way. Any artist who is leading the right way. Hit me. 
I tell you, you guys hit me up. I guarantee you, I'm going to connect you. I'm going to put you together. But I got criteria that I got to tell you, folks. Because there's a lot of things in my city that you probably don't know. Well, I'm going to tell you. Because there's a lot of artists in my city, they come with another, they come with nonsense. They're half in the game, half in the, they're moving around wrong. I'm not putting my money or I'm not bringing you to no record labels. Y'all niggas is out there gang banging. Y'all niggas, y'all let your boys gang bang. Y'all keep this booth with me, I'll get you some real money. I have to show you that I can get you some real fucking money. So now if y'all wanna send your trap, fuck that. Yo, I don't want no trap. I want yo trap, I wanna fuck with you. Yo, put me in, put me in that position. Give me a shot. But don't come with no bullshit. Don't come you here testifying. Don't come you're in a bunch of drama. You don't bring that shit to me. Cause I'm not bringing it to him. Don't bring that shit to me. I don't care how good you are, who you are. I don't give a fuck what day you are. I don't care who you are. But if you got talent and you want to get to this fucking real money, real money, fuck with me. I don't care what side of town you're from. Hit me up. Be a man. Sit me down. Call me. Everybody knows how to get in touch with me. So I don't even want to give you my number. All of you got my number. So all you got to do is your trap. I didn't notice your trap. Get with me. Yo, I'm telling you, I can change your fucking life. Mm. That's showing you right there. Now, I, I don't want to talk about it. See, my city, yeah. let me tell you something about my city, Tony. We are show me sick. I couldn't tell nobody I got this new coming in here today. That's why I couldn't have said that. My city would be like, Tom ain't got it. I ain't crazy. Tom know I can rap. Tom. That's what they would have said. Right? Show and prove. That's what the guards taught me when I was in jail. You gotta show and prove, Chief. That's what that, that show and prove is. That show and prove it? Well, I got something. I got something after that. Okay. Don't do it. I have. Don't, nah, 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 nah. Y'all don't, y'all don't. Wait, 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 wait. It's going that way. Is it going there? Yeah, that way. Let me sort of, Ooh. I'm gonna sort of give it to you guys a little different today. Because mm. I heard what he said about the city. So, in order for this to work, I'm gonna look through here and I want you guys to feel this. Ready? This is the real dog. Guys, ready? Yo, I, I just want y'all to hear this. This is the real deal. We're not gonna have this. This, this is fun. not, let me play. Play with me. This play with me and think it ain't, it ain't fun to do. I'm, I'm telling you, 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 that these are multi million dollar rack bags standing next to me. It's not play money, it's real. Gangster moving kind of money. Yeah. This is world changing, life changing. Get world your changing. mama out the ghetto. Get your babies in private school. And you really doing big things and making real impact. That's what's about to happen. But boy, y'all don't even know where this man can go with it. That's the best part about it. I know him very well at the moment. And he may say to you now, you ain't ready for it. No, stop. You too much. Are you ready for it? Take it. You're taking yeah, my thumb. Yeah, you ready? They ready? They ready? They ready? They ready? Check this out. All right. no, 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 no. I want to be honest with you. I want to direct certain members that, like he said, is we can take off, but we have to stick together. Let me sort of grasp what he means by bringing it to me. Okay. Shout out to Future. Who you knows? You don't know who that is. Shout out to Young Free Bands. I represent them. Yes, that's one K. Shout out to Future. Shout out. to Trust me. You think? Shout out to Fabio for him. Oh, hey! hey. Fabio's not told me how to do that. Yes. Yeah. You guys get where I'm going with this conversation if I advise those labels? Mm. I think I want to hear what you got to say about some anything he just said. You got to mm. check that at the door, obviously. Money is money. Because <laughs> uh, if you couldn't, I wouldn't <laughs> want you to yell your setup in a full concert like that, wouldn't you? So leave that at the door. And you can bring that up after you're successful and come back yes. to your city. Come back. Now, this on to be in the industry, nobody knows about the the person in Ohio doesn't know about the corner you shot up. You have to leave that out of your rocks a little bit, give you your creativity, and then come back to your swag player. You get me? Sometimes you have to be what they call uh you just gotta be mute. You just gotta yeah. be mute. Don't have, you gotta have more money. swag than that, is what I'm really gonna say. You Where's your swag bag? You gotta have a swag bag to get my bag. Mm. And can I stop you one more time? Please, everybody, do not hit me up with one song, two songs. Yo, and then, and I got, I got criteria. You cannot hit me up if I can't show you what you're doing. A lot of people don't know what 
what what they're supposed to put together for somebody professional like this. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna give it. Yes, that better than nobody. I'm just yeah. saying. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna give it. No, let yeah, no, me sort of grasp. Okay, okay. playing games with people. Okay, well, first of all, I want to shout out everyone who's coming through to the show. We're out here this Friday at uh, Silhouettes Strip Club between eight and twelve. I mean, eight and two. Oh, Come on up, Generous Club, Strip Club, etc. <laughs> Um, cash still exists, you know. I'm doing giveaways, etc. We have the lovely, lovely Miss Natural coming out of retirement. Don't know who that is, look her up. Super XXX star coming out of retirement. We have superstar Danny oh, coming. The I am Lee, Danny Deuces, the whole crowd. I got the captain, Captain Haitian, everybody. I voted the whole bus up just to give you guys a little bit of entertainment when we do in New York City. These guys who you're going to witness bring in 1 billion views a month. Mm. There's only 250 seats. There's again? only a capacity for 250 people. You say that number again, I don't think they heard you. 1 billion views a month. I would have considered, oh. considered that you guys have some of them. Mm. One yeah. person on here knows Daniel G. You get it. Okay. Well, let's uh, let's hope that you guys can attend. Okay. We have uh, tables and... Um, yeah, I had three sections. I was giving away a lot of things at that event. If you show up, I'm, I'm heard to have given away a lot of money. Oh, God. I'm different. I don't believe in the cards. So especially at a strip club, I might just stop throwing shit. I don't know what I'd be done. I'm one of them. Yeah, you know we're going to be in the building. And I swear to God, I, I, I pray, I hope I'll see everybody come out and support. Yo, come out. Let's make this a Rhode Island event. Yo, let me show him how my city come out. Yo, let, let me see practice. the city. I, I want let me see the city. Let me know what's going on. I need to do my hair. Now, listen. Right. We're coming out. Soon as I think you want some bullshit, you out of here. Mm. You out of here, bro. I oh, swear to God, we're coming wait, in. Wait, wait. Hold yeah. up. Hold up. Wait. Let me, let me address that. Don't fuck it up for your city. Mm. Don't turn the, the city against you. <laughs> Because this event, I'm actually giving out legal deals. I'm bringing guys out of the city. So the guy who fucks this up might not be in the city. I know mm. how this works. I'm a universal nigga. I travel 50 states. So I'm literally telling you. You get it? All right. So now we catch the swag that's in the building. I would ask you to do some giveaways to some artists. Is there any artists on here watching me? If not, one day you will find me. Maybe in, the, maybe in that studio. You come to New York studio. That studio is in New York City. Baltimore, Maryland, Washington, D.C., South Carolina, Atlanta, Georgia, Miami, Orlando. Are they all from the factory place? All from the factory place, baby. All of them. California, what's going on? Orlando, shout out to Compton, what's going on, baby? Yo, shout, shout out to Red Hook. They're going through the storms right now. Oh, my, shout out to my cousin Baker North Up. Yo, what up, cuz? Trish, Zoe, all my family, everybody out there in St. Pete, man. I swear to God, man, I hope you get through the storm. Let's get through it, man. Jay Deuce, what's going on? Yo, Jay Deuce, be moving, baby. Jay Deuce, I swear to God, when I was in Florida, when I was in the studios with all of you, and I was showing you my music, and I was telling you about my artist, Smash Calhoun, he's going to be the hottest artist in the city, I'm telling you. But when I was telling you that everybody, every time I heard his music, not one per everybody in Florida wanted him. Guess where he's going now? Guess where he's going now? Guess you didn't believe in him. All these producers way out there, he kept saying, yo, he's about to fly me and do all of that. Nah, nah, he came to me. He came to me. He came to me. I don't got to work hard no more. How did they find you? You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. How did they find you? Oh, they can find me at the Factory Place Instagram, all one word, the Factory Place. Madness is over there. Every artist is over there. I'm a licensed advisor and attorney. If you are a label, if you're a manager, you, you are welcome. If you are a business owner, you are welcome. If you own podcast, if you own car dealerships, everybody, every shops, everybody you own buildings, call me. Fuck. Yo, we coming down here. Yo, I'm telling you, no, we, I, I, it's going to be know. lit. If you got something to do today, you ain't going to try to get no money. If you ain't a rapper, you ain't. You think you ain't got the hottest music, well, have your shit together, bro. Hit me. You understand what I'm saying? Because don't make me look stupid down there. Because I vouch for my city, bro. Listen, Don't make me look stupid. Listen, do me a favor. Leave the hoodies at home. Mm. Actually, uh, there's going to be a whole lot of beautiful ladies there. I want to see some swag. I'm going to put a swagger artist. 
I got gangsters at this time. Ah, I got the flyest niggas in the city. I just told you, you can't out gangster the guys I got. So I, I got my flyest niggas in the city, no homo. Well, come on. Let's show this here, man. I need some. Let's show this here, man. I need some. Where you going to be at? 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 We're going to be at Silhouettes Gentlemen's Club between 8 and 2. Straight Madness. The strippies! Listen, if you do not, no, tomorrow night, Friday night. Tomorrow, if you miss this, you miss me. Because I'm glad, don't let me grab the mic. I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know. I get crazy in New York. I'm known to do whatever. Uh, you know what I'm saying? That, that's going to be it. Uh, and listen, I'm giving away a trip. But before I leave here, I'm giving away a trip. a trip. Don't get it twisted. I need the numbers to get up, though. Come on, I'll get these numbers up. Let's go. Hey, let's yo, go hold on your back. Hold on. Hold these out there, man. Let's get these numbers up. Get these numbers up. Let's see what we got here, man. Let me get right here real quick. I just need to get my numbers up. <laughs> hey, yo, fellas. Yeah. Hey, yo. Yo, if you love me, if you love me in my city, man, please, man. Please tap in right now, man. He wants my numbers up. We're giving out a trip right now. I just want to show you that I'm a believer. Y'all going to make me a believer. Yo, call somebody right now and go tap in the right now. Get it right. I want to give this to you. I want to give it to a mother, too. I got some bread for you right now. I just want to show you as I ain't playing. Y'all, I don't know what I was playing. A lot of people say that I've been working so hard. I've been depriving my kids. I mean, to get what I got, I've been working hard. So all I'm telling you, I'm trying to give it to somebody that's been working hard as me. Let's get my numbers up real quick. I just want to show them. I, I just want to show them that my numbers get up. You understand? I ain't no rapper. I'm for problems, Rhode Island. We got the best city in the world, bro. That's where I'm from. I don't care what anybody says. You understand what I'm saying? So I don't care if you're from New York. I don't care about the money you got. I don't care about that. All I know is my talent will be there tomorrow, bro. I'm going I'm for a fact. If you ain't dead, you ain't trying to make no money. You are not trying to get no fucking money. You want to be that same nigga sitting on the couch playing video games. You want to be that same nigga that's in the fucking room coming with the fire lyrics out. You ain't producing nothing. Yo, come on out there, baby. And yo, my fly niggas get fly, baby. Ain't no hoodies. Don't come in here and ask me, trap. I can't get in with this. Wait, no. wait, ask him where, ask him where. Oh, this is that Stilet. 245 Islands Ave. In Rock and Island. Island. And they know where that shit's at. You nasty motherfucker. <laughs> Stop that hey, yo, shit. Yo, yo, one, yo, yo, one thing you know where that's at. Stop that shit. Stop that shit. You know where it's at. Stop that. What's my numbers at? Where is it at? Let's get them up. Let's get them up. Let's go. Let's get this giveaway. Yo, I'm telling you, let's get this money right now. Yo, I'm telling you, it's a giveaway right now. I'm telling you, who wants to go? Let's go, baby. Let's fucking go. Tell somebody for two minutes, you motherfuckers. This is a free trip. Show this motherfucker we are hustlers from the, we are no other. We sell Kool-Aid balls in jail for a soup. Nigga, you, you kidding me? I heard, I heard that this penitentiary over here ain't no joke. I heard that they throw everybody in one unit. That means you got to eat for food over here. Oh, yeah. what? What? So I believe that there's some talent inside of it. And it's the old OG. In other states, they keep the OGs away. Hungry. Over here, they got y'all. They still a lot of knowledge going on in there themselves. Y'all got to come out of here a little bit educated. You got to go from B and E to something. <laughs> come on. <laughs> you got to be tired of that shit. You got to be. You got to be. Well, one, one, one thing is for sure, I would like to uh, dress up the artist one more time before I step off the page. Um, when you leave the studio, make sure that you have all your paperwork together. I want you to make sure that you have what's called slot sheets. Don't ever forget that. If you, if you are an artist, I want you to look over at your manager and say, hey, do you have our slot sheets together? Slot sheet, if you did one song, every song has a separate slot sheet. If you turn in a song to me and don't have a slot sheet, you know what I'm saying to you, right? When, how can I get money with no slot sheet? I'm going to turn this in. And then they're going to be terminated. Then you're going to be going straight. I didn't have a slot sheet. I'm not even asking. Hold up. I don't go that far. If you turn in a song for me without a slot sheet, I ain't listening. I'm past that shit. You knew that. I don't care if it was a hit. And then, how about this? If it is a hit, and you are responsible for the song and turn it in, don't be surprised if I take you off and put someone else on it. I teach you what you call music lessons. I'm not here to... 
do that. I'm here to do this. Here. So and I only have guys around me no bosses only. If we're in a boss, I look you straight in the face and you look at me. Mm-hmm. You don't have that look, I'm gone. That's it. But that's what I'm you not call I'm not in the creation business. And no, power don't plays. Power moves and power plays. That's baby. my new So passion. that's why I tell people, you, you got to put the force back on the artist. We've been taking too much off of them by carrying them. We got to remember this. And I tell a lot of artists, do me a favor. A manager is not for every damn thing. They are for certain things that you tell them to do. Remember, we work for you. You're supposed to have your shit together and say, okay, I, the, you don't call the manager and say, hey, you got something for me? What the fuck? Mm. You're supposed to say, hold up. I got this shit together, right? Yo, I need you to get this done for me. Mm. We're going we're gonna to figure this out because you guys have been led what we call straight. But that was just the music business one-on-one from the top down. I'm very sorry I was upstairs. I'm part of it. You know what's crazy? I don't think you would realize who is yeah, dropping. Some of them better catch this motherfucker. Some of them may know. I'm gonna show them. They may have seen you before. Somebody. No. I don't think people understand. Like you would never have even made it to the elevator to get to where this man's office was in the building. You wouldn't have even been able to I'm tell you, I'm gonna tell you first time. You wouldn't believe it. You wouldn't believe it. But right now, I formed the factory place and everything. You can reach out and touch me for free. For free. So I'm I will spend hours with you if you're that motherfucker. Mm. I'm all about independence one on one. I already been upstairs 15 years robbing you. Mm. Let me come down here and help you. That's as real as I can get. So you are that artist. Reach, instead of me reaching through the phone, reach back through me. Come and get me, motherfucker. Yeah. Uh, listen to me. We about to get this money in my city. Sure. Remember when I told you that? I, I, you're only, I'm only trying to make money moves. You niggas ain't trying to make money moves for me and my team. Yo, you, y'all can't. I, I, I'm sorry. I'll be back for y'all. I'm a, I'm a beeline. But right now, I'm trying to go to the top. And that's for everybody right here. We trying to go to the top. So tomorrow, I want y'all to come with your shit together. Today, if you hit me up, if you got to don't come with your shit not together, bro. If it ain't all together, don't even come. It's not fully mastered down. If it has auto, if it does, listen, you already, I already told you how I felt about auto tunes, don't even send it. If it's not fully mastered down and the beat is not, it, it has to be from a notable in your city. Why don't you give them a chance for YouTube? Look at you. If, if it yeah. comes from YouTube, forget about it. Don't even send it to me. So you can bring I don't care if you got a piece of paper on it. I don't care what you got from it. I can't find it in, in UK. <laughs> and like I told my DJs this morning, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Guys, yeah, funny. Look, how it work, we're going to see. What one of you DJs, and everybody's always talking about the hottest DJs in Rhode Island. Who's the hottest DJ in Rhode Island? Hey, I'm going to hire him on the spot. On the spot. I think you're going to the spot. Hey, yo, give me yo. Who's the, I'm looking for the I'm looking for the hey, yo, baddest hey, yo, DJ. Hey, yo, the baddest DJ, right? You are smart. Yo, listen, tell oh. me. I'm not going to vote. I'm not vouching for nobody. Right? You know why? You know why, Tony? Because nobody vouches for me. Mm. You got to keep your over here. Yeah. And you heard him, right? Tell him, I'm not getting you know, no thousand. Let me tell you something good about that. Right? I, don't want I, I don't like vouchers anyway. Because if they vouch for me, they will be right here. I with actually me. look at the person who's on the vouchers for. And then if I go in the studio, no like it. I look at somebody in the studio and I say, hey, he vouched for you. Are you leading everyone in it? Mm-hmm. I find out the position of the person who, uh, who, who as a DJ, you have to lead the room. You're the you're the first person that the people, okay, man. Me and you have to have a relationship to make understand that you're the you're the pillar plug. You're in the house getting the butt out. I'm just bagging it. Catch that. Come on. I need you. Act right. You guys know what you're doing? You're playing the same old songs. Same old songs. And guess where they all Same come old from? songs. Yo, I was out here driving. Oh, around. Yeah. I'm listening to my own music. From New York City, what's going on? I don't get it. It's on connection. Why is the same radio stations over here not playing? Okay, can I tell you about my city? Tom? They don't play Little Dirt. They don't play Little Dirt. Is Little Dirt one of the hottest, hottest? He asked a good question. No, no, I, I know that. I know that. But I just, I want to, because why do I want DJs? This is a great question. I fight with every DJ. Why do I want DJs? I want to know why I want to play Little Dirt. Why is Little Dirt the hottest DJ in the city? Why is Little Dirt the hottest DJ in the city? So I'm gonna give you a, I'm gonna give you a, I'm gonna give you a real short. Shout out, Lil Durk. 
OTF. I told you shit was serious. That's my boy. That's my favorite rapper. But we ain't gonna talk about that. <laughs> Motherfuckers be like, well, I tap the knee for OTF now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna say shout out a little bit. Absolutely. Absolutely. But um, anyway, back to the movies doing about the studio. This is what I need you to do. After you're done with the, with the song, fully mass it down, paperwork included, which is normal, and the master to do some special shit. Get in touch with me. I'll do a free video. You can do that. Mm. Ah, fuck. You can get some shit together. That oh, makes sense. sense. Makes sense. But do me a favor. If you ain't pulling a province producer, you can suck. Mm. And I ain't doing it. We ain't doing it. So you don't, better pull your whole city. Don't come. You better pull some. If you get a beat from me, from some, from Zay Tobin, I ain't fucking with you. If you want to get pulled and leave your city, city you are not right. Hey, it. yo, Tom, one second, though, man. Right? This is back to what I was always telling my viewers all the time: the realness about me. Because where I came from, I don't want. And I'm shout out to all the cities. I don't. Mean, but well, I only care about what I'm. So if I don't got a producer from my city in front of you, I'm not gonna feel right. So don't go get nobody from Virginia flying them in and try to do all that. Nah, 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 nah. I got. I'm, I'm gonna. You crazy? We're gonna get everything by oh, bro. And don't come and use no my criteria. So don't bring no motherfucker in. You know, I don't even want to get into that. There's no my criteria. Cause I, you know, I told you that's nonsense. That's with the nonsense. You understand what I'm saying? It's no nonsense. Here. You already know. Let's get it tomorrow. You know who's gonna be what's the address, baby? Oh, that's that's two point five. Oh my God! They know the way. Silhouette. Everybody knows the silhouette. Well, uh, listen, the tickets are lower, but they should have been higher. You mean they, they was? I was trying to charge a hundred dollars at the door. They said no, you're not in Vegas. I said, listen, I got a circus in there. <laughs> These are look who I got coming. You guys are crazy. So if you say, if you just want to be tight that night, bring cash. If you stand in line, go to my If you're trying to cash out the money, hold on, forty-eight. We had this called cash night. If you stand in line with your cash app and your demo trying to sit, get in the club, you made a sad mistake. It's called strip club for a reason. Sad, fellas, do it. You sad, better hit that ATM like you was going to. You know sad, what I'm saying? Fellas. And yo, I told him we got the flyest motherfuckers <laughs> in the world. So I don't want to see nobody in there with some motherfucking drinks that's looking crazy. Go on to your mattress. Come on, man. Listen, go on to your mattress. Car payments is late. All that shit could might happen. I don't know what's going on. You're not going to say y'all not to do that. Touch basis. Mm. Then you might be eligible to get your shit together. Because I don't know you per se, so I wouldn't want to deal with you per se. It's a waiting line and you ain't in. But I will let you know one thing. This man right here can plug you directly to me. Directly. So let's make it happen, man. Yo, shout out to everybody that came and watched. You understand what I'm saying? I, yo, I salute to that man. Woo! I salute to you. That's how that's respect. Head, that's respect. All, all the generals in my city. Mm. You understand? All the bosses in my city. All the black owned business. All the business owners trying to get some money. Everybody, to all the single mothers, to everybody trying to get some money, man. Thank y'all for, for, for tuning in to me, man. No, where can they find you, man? Oh, absolutely. You can find me on the gram. You can find me chats with an S with Mel E. B. Mel E. B, you hear that? And if you're looking for me on the book, it's just Mel and the L. And then we're going to do capital E, capital E, you know, Ooh, okay, okay. Now, one more time. Where can they find you at, Tony? Give me, tell them where, where the factory's at. You can find me at thefactory.com. 
Or you can find me at the factory Instagram, all one word, the factory place. Or you can find me at the factory Latino, mm. factory fur, mm. fat auto, mm. boom. That's Actually, I need this city to get up so we can make some money. I'd love to flood it. I'd love to bring down some cars. I'd love to shoot movies. Actually, the mayor actually said that it's okay for me to do my show in your city. Whoa! Now, I, that, little, that convo a couple of weeks ago with them people on the stages downtown, that, that was our production company. See how we come in through the slide door? They don't even know who we are until they've seen the big one. Right. Mm. Okay, man. I'm not... I thank y'all yeah. for coming, man. Thank y'all for tuning in. Let's go. Let's go. You no longer trap pod on Instagram. You can find me on Facebook. Yeah. Facebook. Yeah. Facebook. Yeah. Facebook. Yeah. Everybody ignores me. I love you guys. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for tuning in. I want to thank y'all for coming here, man. She made things happen. Yo, I swear to God, man, when they told me to call her, she was, Luke told me she was the savior of my city. I said, man, Luke, are you serious? Look, I'm telling you.